But of course, you're going to want to decide that for yourself. And one of the things you're going to want to consider is the new multifaceted Metroid attraction that lives right inside Nintendo Land, along with 11 other attractions. Bill Trinan from our Treehouse Group is just back from Nintendo headquarters in Japan, where he got a long look at the latest update. So I'm going to ask both Bill and Corey Olsvery to come up here and share the highlights of how Metroid has been reimagined for Nintendo Land and Wii U. Guys? Thank you, Reggie. Good morning, everyone. Corey, you ready to have some fun? Let's do it. All right. Now, I've got a few things that I want to tell you about this morning, and I'm going to try to be quick. But the one realization that I hope you all come away with is the notion that many, I think some of these individual attractions here in Nintendo Land, and specifically I mean the ones that we're calling team attractions, have the kind of depth, challenge, variety, and fun that is going to keep you coming back a lot, even if you consider yourself a core gamer. And I say this based on my time playing the game. And I want to show you this morning using just one mode of the team attraction, Metroid Battle. And that's what Corey and I are going to play. Now, you probably saw the foundations for Metroid Battle at E3 2011. But the mode has come a long way since then. And in fact, what we're showing you this morning is an all new mode. And actually, I should clarify, it's Metroid Blast. I said battle. It's Metroid Blast. But this is an all new mode. And it's, in fact, we're not even battling. These are cooperative missions called Mission Assault. And we've got waves of enemies that we need to take out. And you can see Corey fighting on the ground on the main screen. And I'm taking some fire here from some missiles. You can see me controlling the ship up on the, uh, the side screens here. And I'm using the gamepad to do that. And of course, the gamepad is central to this experience. I've got full control. The, the yeah. depth of control is fantastic. Uh, because what I've got here is, oh, yeah, look at that. You've got Corey now grappling from the ship. And he can shoot at the enemies while I fly him around the level. Uh, so we'll go ahead and plop you up here, Corey. Let you drop down there. So I'm controlling the ship using dual analog for movement front to back and side to side. I'm also controlling my elevation. And of course, while Corey's on the ground, he's going to be using his charge up shots. Uh, he may need to dodge enemy attacks. And he may also uh, you know, be using his, grappling, his grapple beam as he did to grab the ship or to grapple around the environment. Man, these guys are shooting a lot of missiles this morning. <laughs> uh, so I've been talking quite a bit here, but uh, apart from all of this, I think what's, what's a lot of fun and really great about this game is the fact that we're going to have to use all of our abilities because there's a variety of different enemies. Uh, and you can see that some of them require different tactics, uh, like these cyclones that we've got here, uh, which if I just shoot at, they're going to kind of bounce off. You just so shot I me. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've also got some enemies that are a little bit smarter than others, which we, uh, we should be seeing in just a second if we can power through this next wave. Why don't you grab that heart there, buddy? OK. So I'm checking on my, my radar here. It kind of gives me an indication of where these new guys are. And you can see that these are Zabitians, obviously from the Metroid series. They're a little bit smarter. Uh, if I fire a missile, they're, uh, they're at least smart enough to run out of the blast radius. Uh, but strategically, that also helps me out because what I can do very quickly is uh, kind of scatter them, uh, which will make it a little bit easier for me to pick them off one by one rather than necessarily, ouch, uh, trying to take heat from, uh, from the entire group. Now, as I mentioned, this is just one mission in Assault Mission. Um, we've got another wave of enemies here that I think this is hopefully the last one. Um, but uh, this one is really, it's about eight missions in, and that's not even halfway through what you're going to find just in this mode. Um, and of course, Corey and I, we're here playing uh, cooperatively together, uh, which we can do with uh, more than just two players if we want to. Uh, but the other great thing about Assault Mission is that I can play these alone if I want, and I can do that either on the ground or I can do that in the air. Oh man, talking and playing is not as easy as it may seem. All right, I'm going to try to take these guys out. Oh, uh-oh. I think first thing I'm going to do is grab an item, because I could probably use it right about now. I'm running a little bit low on health. There we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna zoom in because there we go, nice. The other thing that's nice is using the motion to aim, it feels really natural. Um, and it's, I think it's just perfect here. Let's see if we can get these guys taken care of, Corey. Oh, let me see if I can grab another one of these items. Whew. Now separate from Assault Mission, the Metroid Blast attraction is also going to feature two additional modes, and those are also multiplayer. Uh, one is the ground versus air. Looks like we've got one enemy left. Where is this guy? He's right over there. Uh, and then the other is going to be a ground-only multiplayer free-for-all. Um, so this attraction alone, you know, from my perspective, is almost going to feel like it's its own game. Um, and that's just one of the many attractions in Nintendo Land.